Hello, my sweet goats, and welcome to another Let's Talk. Today, we are going to talk about bullying, a subject that I am all too familiar with because I feel like I've been bullied for the majority of my life. Yes, the majority. I'm 29 years old, by the way, so if you go ahead and do the math, you can get a bit of a, a rough estimate on, uh, on how shit my life was. Was being the operative word because life is fucking great now. I mean, I have, I've collected enough resources to kind of source and then push through to the next point if I ever occur any kind of issues. And any problems that I have now are really just bumps in the road. So, I'm good. And I'm, I'm fairly confident in the, in the direction that my life is headed in. And also, on top of that, I'm doing something that most people my age are incapable of doing. You know, they're, uh, connecting with people, connecting with absolute strangers, growing an audience that way. That is something that I, I, I've really learned to appreciate about myself. Uh, and, uh, and I fucking love it. So when I look back at my hardships, I'm not raising a badge of victimhood saying, please listen to me. I, I was bullied. <laughs> not at all. I'm not doing any of that. I'm actually just sharing this information with you so that you guys can gain some perspective in your lives. If you're going through something similar and you're younger or you're my age or, or maybe, or maybe you are someone who's who is also bullied and has come out on the other side. We're, we're the lucky ones. And you can relate and you can understand that when you look back on your life, you realize you're like, oh shit, you know what? I wouldn't have, I, I, I wouldn't change it because I am who I am today because of all those, all those things. And I'm a better person for it. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a crazy thing to come to terms with. Go, come to terms with the fact that you've had a hard life. I feel like a lot of people will never ever come to terms with the fact that they've had, they, they have had pain in their life. You can't hold on to that pain and act like that pain is still present because pain is fleeting. Pain leaves, right? And hardships in life are just collected pain that you can just push behind you and use as a learning, uh, a learning tool or a learning, uh, just use a, uh, as a, as, as something to learn from. Uh, I think that when the, the point in which I, came to terms with being uh, bullied was uh, less than a year ago because, uh, you know, a year ago, I, I would look back and I would have so much hatred in my heart for these people that had hurt me. And that includes teachers, my parents, uh, my friends, you know, the bullies that were uh, around during my childhood, the guy that would fucking beat the shit out of me every time I went out into the street, you know, uh, that guy was fucked up. Like, I, I just, I, I just remember that. And it was just, it was so, so brutal. But there were two stages uh, of bullying to my life, both of which had the same effect on me, but they were done differently. There was a physical stage where I was beaten up during my childhood uh, because I was growing up during the 90s. And the 90s, I feel, were a very fucking racist time for a brown person or a person of color. Uh, way more racist than whatever they're calling racist today. I mean, the racism today is like, you're bored, you're white, therefore you're racist. <laughs> it's stupid. It's really stupid. So 90s were actually racist, like really, really fucked up. It was to the point where it's like, hey man, you're a fucking packy. Now watch me beat the shit out of you. That's what it came down to. So that's that was the physical uh, form of bullying that I endured. And then there was the emotional form of bullying that I endured during my young adulthood and adulthood. And I would have to say that the most impactful form was the adulthood uh was the emotional one uh during my adulthood more so than my young adulthood i hope you guys are following here because as an adult as you're thrust into this world this reality where you have to pay bills where you have to make something of yourself you need to be surrounded by people who support you and if you don't have a support system it's really fucking hard and what was crazy was that the people that i thought were my support system weren't really my fucking support system they were just the bullies they were there to make me feel like shit about myself and make me doubt myself all the time. And it only, I only shed this when I started doing YouTube, when I started to see that me on my own was good enough for the world. How like that, that for me was like, what the fuck? I was like, holy shit, this whole time I've been told that I need these people, that they're, that, that I need to work with them in order to be cool. I, I need them around in order to, to, to get that validation. No, it was just me. I just needed me. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it was so sick. So then I came to terms with 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 all the bullshit that happened. Of course, there was some some uh, uh there was like it was a process, right? Like when I started to realize, I'm like, holy shit, these guys bullied me the whole time. I was angry, 
but now I'm not angry anymore. Now I'm just like, whatever it happened, it, it happened and, and I'm better for it. And I think that that's the focus that people need to have is that you are better for the hardships that you endure. <laughs> you are, you are an amazing person today. Or if you, if you feel like you're an amazing person, you're an amazing person today because of all the bullshit that you endured. Your life isn't worse because of the bullshit that you endured. Your life is better because of the bullshit that you endured. Sorry for repeating myself here a bit. This is once again, like completely off the cuff, right? So it's, 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 it's fucking hard to do. <laughs> I'm always doubting myself. I'm always like, shit, did I repeat that? Cause I want to give you guys quality. And I think that this is quality. So yes. So listen, if you are being bullied right now, if you are, if you are in the middle of, uh, if you're in a period of your life where you have no desire to go to school, to go out there, I want you to know something you will see the next day and you're going to see the day after that. And then you're going to see the day after that. And the next thing you know, years will have passed and you will have become a much better person for all the hardships that you endure. Do not let them defeat you by allowing yourself to defeat you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't let them win by defeating yourself. <laughs> I just have to reinforce that. <laughs> really reinforce that. That's if you're being bullied right now. It doesn't matter what age you're at. You know, it could be a boss, it could be a coworker, it could be a, a, a classmate, it could be your parents. You will see the next fucking day. If you did enjoy this video, guys, be sure to go ahead and leave a like. Share this with a friend. <laughs> share this with a friend. I always feel awkward when I ask people to share the content. And subscribe, guys. I really would appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>